So in the previous video, we made a very simple web page which had only one UI element and that is a heading. In this video, we are going to create a more complex uh, UI layout or rather only user interface which will contain three divs or divisions, right? So this will be the first division or div where we will write the heading of our web page. Then we will create one more div which will contain the first graph or the first visualization of our dashboard and then the second div which will contain the second division uh, uh, which will contain the second graph or visualization of our dashboard. Okay. So in this video we are not going to add graphs instead we are going to create this layout. Okay. So let's start. First of all we don't require this h1 right now. So the first thing that we need is HTML dot div. So this div or division will act as the outer container for the web page. So if I can show you this outer rectangle will be served or will be uh, created using this div and inside this div, we are going to create three more divs. The first one, the second one and the third one. Okay. So whenever inside your HTML dash HTML component, you are going to put multiple things. You put a list there. Okay. And then you hit enter and then you start adding more elements like this. So this will be the first div. Since it's a list, we'll put a comma HTML dot div. Then again, one more comma and then HTML dot div the last one, right? Now you can easily see this first one will contain the heading. The second one will contain the first graph and the third one will contain the second graph. Okay. So let's try and add these things. Okay. So first what we will do is inside the div, we will first add style and inside style we will add border basically we are activating border using css and for that we have to pass three things one as in one pixel this will be the width of the border the color let's say the border color is black and the border type which is solid the next thing is float to be equal to left next width we want the width of the first div to be equal to 100% of the web page and finally the height the height would be somewhere around 50 pixels right and what we will do is we'll copy the same thing inside the second div as well as the third div and we will do minor changes. We'll keep the border as same. The float will also be left. The width for the second div would be 49%. The height would be, let's say 350. You will see when I'll load the page, you will understand what I'm trying to do here. I'll write 49% again and this will also be 350, right? So I'll just revise what I have done here. I have created an outer div and inside that div, I have created three more divs and each one of them has a different style or a different CSS. Now let's try and run this code to see the output. And here it is. As you can see, this was the plan and this is what we have made. Uh, there is a gap over here. It's because I have taken 49% plus 49%. You might ask why not 50% and 50% because if I'll take 50% and 50%, then what will happen is I also have these one pixels as my border. So I'll have 50 plus 50, which is already hundred. And then I'll have four pixels more caused by the borders. So that will let's let me show you what will happen if I 
make it 50%. So if I make it 50% and if I run it again, I'll click on the URL and now you can see what happened. So this div did not get enough space to stay here. So it came down right beneath the first div. So what we can do is to optimize this scenario, we can just put it or we can give it a value of 49 point, I don't know, 5, 49.5. I think this should be fine. Yeah, so it's better and you can obviously experiment with the values, right? I can, I could have given 45.7, 49.7 and the space would have re reduced. But the main idea is that I'm able to uh, do the changes. One last thing that I'll do is I'll add a heading. So to add a heading, what I'll do is uh, I'll write children equal to and over here I'll put a list again and inside this list I'll write HTML dot H1 and over here you'll write my first dashboard, right? And since it's the only item inside this diff, there is no need to put a uh, comma. And if you want, you can also do some style changes by adding the style attribute inside a dictionary. We can write the color to be equal to red and the text align to be equal to center. Let's run this. And you can see that we are able to add a heading inside our first div. Okay. So if you are saying that there is an overflow of text from this div, you can always add margin and padding CSS properties to adjust these uh, errors. Uh, but again, that's not our first concern. Uh, our concern was to create a layout like this. Okay. So that was about this video. In the next video, we are going to add some graphs in these two divs. So stay with us. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.